Hi Cancer, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and moon signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm not accepting personal reading, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Cancer, your overall energy for this reading is the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and then the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords, and then, okay, the Six of Swords. Cancer. Underneath the deck is the Five of Wands. So there's a lot of conflict between the two of you. Getting the last five weeks, last five weeks. A lot of conflict. Something happened suddenly. Like, uh, whatever truth that came out. It has really changed your perspective when it comes to this connection that you're in. I'm also getting internally very conflicted whether or not you leave or you stay, whether or not you fight for this connection or you give up. But take it how it resonates, all right? Take it how it resonates. With the three of three of swords as this as this reading's overall energy, as your overall energy for this reading. Sorry about that as your overall energy for this reading. You know, I hate, I hate breakup readings, but uh, it's the energy that I'm getting. And it's in the cards, you can see. I mean, we can't really say that you're getting back together or things will be better when things don't look like it. Three of Swords. Uh, Whatever information I told you earlier, whatever information that's coming to light, the truth that's coming to light, it's going to be a painful one, I have to say. It's going to be a painful one. You have loved this person to your very core. But yet... I'm getting you were taken for granted. And I'm sorry about that. Cancer, you're someone who loves with all your heart. Sincere and warm. You're very considerate. And people, some people take advantage of that. And I'm sorry. With the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Wands. You know, I'm getting this person actually love, loves you a lot. But uh, I'm getting they have been carrying a lot of burden from their past relationships. So they don't know, 
right? They don't know how to actually show the right kind of love or how to love properly. This is someone who's been carrying, who's been through a journey and hasn't learned to let go of all the pain that they've been going through, not going through, you know, that they've been, you know, experiencing in the past. They haven't learned to let go of that. And they just carry it through the years till such time that they met you. I do get the energy that this person loves you, but they don't have any idea on how to show it. Actually getting they might show it through sex all right with ace of wands they might even show it through sex maybe that's their idea of how to show love I don't know but take it how it resonates they had that chance of a passionate new start between the two of you but um, I'm getting they held back on it like they really held back. For some of you, I'm getting this person has been online, has been on like uh, social media or like, you know, these dating, dating websites where you could just, you know, meet up and hook up. I don't know, they get out resonates. And this is something that you found out. Like they, they have been disloyal, disloyal. You thought this was happily ever after, but I'm getting, and for some of you, you're still hoping things would be better or you would still hope that things would be better between the two of you but I'm getting it was something that you had to go through wherever it is that you're about to go to whoever it is that you're you know you're moving away from it was meant to happen that way I'm getting you now understand that this is what I want and this is what I don't want in a, in a connection. You've become more specific with what kind of person you want in your life. What is the outcome? The Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Wands. Okay. Healing. There's a need to heal everything. All right. There's a need to heal everything within yourself, Cancer. Sometimes we don't even recognize that there are parts of us that need healing. We only recognize it when something like this happens, when a heartbreak happens, when a trigger, when someone triggers us, you know. That's sometimes it's the only time we recognize that, hey, I still have a wound that's open that needs healing with the two of pentacles the ace of pentacles and then the 
Eight of Wands. I'm getting... You're not here to play games. If they can't be... If they can't offer you something stable and secure, you'd move away. Because you know that... Uh, there's something out there for you. There's someone out there for you who could give you what you want. Someone stable and secure, right? You could be traveling when you meet this new person. They get out of resonance. But, um... Uh, I'm getting you're moving on. You'd rather move on and be with someone eventually. Who would give you that solid and stable offer rather than someone who can't really decide what they really want with the knight of swords the king of swords and then the <clears throat> the seven of excuse me <clears throat> the seven of wands the knight of swords take charge the need to take charge the need to Communicate. There's a need to be blunt. All right, be blunt with what you want, how you want things. King of Swords, planning. Head over heart decisions. What is best for you? Put yourself first. Again, put yourself first. <laughs> you are the best of the best, Cancer. Remember that. You're the best of the best. And you will eventually be with the right person. And stop defending this person. This person who you know has broken your heart. Stop defending them. Stop defending their excuses. have don't stop all right i'm getting more on don't stop loving yourself all right don't stop putting yourself forward let's just pull it put a card pull some cards on that okay you have the queen of swords and then the king of swords coming out chariot card eight of cups and then the queen of swords all right so don't stop chariot card is someone who moves forward very fast um with a very clear goal and intention right move on from this person because eventually you will run into the your perfect match the king and queen of swords perfect match all right Male, female, it's not really a gender-specific reading, but we're looking at the energies. You will eventually stumble into your Nine of Cups, your perfect match. Someone who is everything that you've ever wanted. All right? So that is all I have for you, Cancer. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Last one. Okay. You have expressed your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Trust the situation is calling you for, for you to have faith. Give your relationship a chance. It's always up to you with the two of, two of pentacles. It's always up to you whether or not you want to give this relationship a chance. All right. Religious factors could be affecting this connection. And then wedding. For some of you, this is your goal to get married. Or this is your, yeah, your goal in a connection. You will get married. You will. Well, for some of you who want to, you will. You will get that higher form of commitment. It's always up to you. If this is, if you want it with this person, if you really want to make it work with this person, and I'm getting it takes a lot of work, 
or move on and be eventually be with the right person your perfect match take it how it resonates cancer that is all i have for you i hope something this reading resonated and if it did please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you i love you all so much i'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed